This guy right here is literally the highest paid copywriter in history. His name is Gary Hilbert. Now, if you guys don't know who this is, then, then what? How do you not know who this guy is? You could see his legendary sales letters generated over $1 billion in revenue. A billion with a B. Now, does this mean that this guy used to be a billionaire? No, bro. This guy was a copywriter. Usually what copywriters do, they like to inflate the numbers they, they make for other people. So yes, he probably did generate like $1 billion in revenue, but he probably only kept like 1% like of that, 10% of that, which is still a big number, by the way. And I'm saying that because in my previous video, I was talking about Chris, Chris Haddad, and I was like, yeah, this guy actually did make $700 million in sales, but that doesn't mean he actually has $700 million in his bank. He probably only has like $7 million which like it's not little by the way now the only reason i'm showing you these guys is because if these guys knew what's going on in today's world i'm pretty sure chris actually knows what's going on but if they knew what's going on right now they'd be like at least 10x more their net worth would literally become 10x because nowadays we have this thing called ai and bro if you just literally use the power of ai in the side hustle that i'm about to tell you right now like you could do so much. So specifically what I'm talking about is becoming like an email copywriter or just literally a copywriter. Now, usually what they say is that this copywriting service it ranges from $100 to $2,000 per email. Bro, $2,000 per email. Usually what I see though is that if you get a client and then you put them on like a retainer, you would make $2,000 just from one client. And by the way, bro, for me personally, I literally had a guy offer me $10,000 to just do copywriting for him just from one freaking guy now my case is different because i have like a youtube channel so i guess like my credibility is a bit high but still i'm about to show you how to actually increase your credibility and then how to actually deliver good results for these clients and then close them so they can actually pay you two thousand dollars for one client bro so if it's two thousand dollars per one client five clients is enough for you to make ten thousand dollars per month so if you look right here what is the side hustle specifically well it's email copywriting so just charge one to two thousand dollars per client close five clients and then basically you'll be at ten thousand dollars in monthly income now let me show you how to do this so if you've been in the copywriting world you would know it's not that easy to actually get clients and that's because most people the way they teach how to get clients in copywriting is basically just cold email people and then hope bro just hope that you get a client from these emails but no that's not what we're saying here i'm going to teach you a different way so the way actually that i've been taught how to get clients easily is to basically have an instagram page and just basically boost your credibility through this instagram page and then through this instagram page go and reach out to clients using specific words that even most copywriters don't know about so if you look right here this is basically my instagram now my instagram is nothing really fancy but like oh by the way don't be trusting those fake accounts pretending to be me Bro, some people are pretending to be me. What the heck? And you could see, like, I don't even have that many followers. But, like, right now, if someone actually goes into my Instagram after I actually DM them, and then they would see, like, all these videos right here, and, like, actually go through the videos and watch them, like, they would actually be so susceptible and receptive to my DM to the point where they would actually want to work with me even for just, like, a little bit. So step number one in this whole side hustle is to basically... Fix your Instagram. Your Instagram right now is literally like a like a resume. Forget about like paper resumes. Your Instagram is the resume. Which means like all these videos right here, they're supposed to show how beautiful you are. <laughs> they're supposed to show how credible you are, how smart you are. So one way I actually saw a guy doing this in the past who was actually my friend. Bro, what he used to do, he would actually get so many clients just easily. But what he used to do is literally have like the phone, take the phone record himself like this, like literally through the, the camera of the phone, recording himself, and then he would just basically be saying things that he just took out from like a copywriting book. So he would go through like a copywriting book, read some of the stuff that are like valuable, record himself talking about the stuff, and then when people actually go through his Instagram, they're like, dang, boy, this guy actually knows what he's talking about. And as a result, like people would actually pay him at least $10,000 for his service. Like not $10,000 immediately, but like he'd get five clients and then in total, he would be making 10k a month. But this is literally step number one. Like, literally just fix your Instagram. Now, I can't tell you exactly what videos to post, even though I just told you right now. But basically, try to put credibility in your Instagram by making yourself actually look smart. And also for a bio, most people overthink it, and they would add, like, like such a long bio. Bro, if you were a guy with a million followers, would you really have, like, a long bio talking about everything you've done in your life? No, you won't. People who have, like, millions of followers, they're just nonchalant about it. They don't even care about how their bio looks like. So for me, I'm just like... I make halal money. That's it. That's my bio. Obviously, I added this thing right here because some people are literally pretending to be me. But like, just, just say something. Say something normal. Like, it's like you don't even care. Just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> but your videos, 
like it's enough for you to have videos that just record your face and that's it as long as you're talking about like valuable things remember this is your resume and this is step number one now step number two after you've actually fixed your instagram and it looks very credible by the way you could be doing this with twitter too if you're scared of like being on video just do it on Twitter and just follow everything as I'm saying. But on Twitter, you're just basically going to be putting like tweets without showing your face as long as they're valuable. And by valuable, I mean, just literally go on like a copywriting book, see what it's actually talking about and just take snippets from there and then just post it as tweets. But step number two is you actually have to reach out for people. Like you need to be sending at least, at least bro, like minimum 50 DMs a day, even though that's like a bit too little, but at least 50 DMs a day. Because if you literally touch 50 people per day, like you'll make money, bro. That's actually a secret, by the way. If you want to make more money, you just got to touch more people. That's it. So look, this one time I was actually on a call with Jason Capital. It was basically one of those like, like five to one calls where I actually had to pay him like big money to get on that call. But basically he was mentoring me and four other people on how to actually become better copywriters and just have like, like just become better and making money. So one thing he actually showed me and four other people is how he was getting clients for his agency. Now look, this stuff, he actually never shared it in his courses like at all. He only shared it with me and four other people. But I'm going to share it with you for free. <laughs> so we got on the call and as you can see right here, like this right here is Jason Capital's hand. I took a picture of it. I know it's pretty weird. But like we were on the Zoom call and he was showing me his phone. So I'm just like, I pulled out my phone and I took a picture of the thing that he was showing me. So this is what he used to actually say to people. So he used to literally go and DM them and he would, by the way, by the way, by the way, listen. This guy, Jason Capital, his agency, I think in literally like a week, he took it from zero to 400K in revenue in literally a week. And he was sending like these exact messages. So basically he would be like, I know it's blurry, but just look, he would be like, Justin. So this was actually specifically sent to like Justin Fit, Justin J Fit. I don't even know who that is. But basically he was like, no, this is random, but saw we knew a few mutual people. I'm doing a case study for my next book with a couple influencers to see if I can make them an extra... I think that's 100k or 60k to 100k in 30 days without them having to do much. I tried it with one influencer just last month and then he put like the, the ads, which is Elliot Hulls. And he was like, PS, I'm sure you get many of these. And he was like, I attached the screenshots below to show both the, I think the revenue and amounts with permission from Elliot. So, you know, I'm not full of poop. That's literally it. That's what he used to send them. And he would actually send like a, like a Stripe recording. So the entire idea behind this, like the template, is he would be like name, which is like Justin. So the idea behind the words is he's like, you don't know me, but we both know this person in common, whoever it is. I'm looking to do X right now. I just did it with whoever and we got this result. Here's proof. I don't know if this is a fit, but I really like your stuff. If you'd be interested, message me back and we can book a time at no chat or book a time to chat. No pressure, either way, you're so cool and stuff like that. That's the whole point of it. But these exact words right here, he never actually revealed it just because it was way too powerful. But look, you see how it says, I'm doing a case study for my next book with a couple influencers, blah, blah, blah. This is the proof in of itself. Now, you say the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're not going to be writing a book. Who knows if you're going to write a book in the next two years? That's the whole idea behind it. Once you say that you're actually about to write a book about like how to do this, do this and do that, people instantly are going to think you're like a like a credible person you you're someone with, with like a with like authority you wonder why people who write books they're called authors because they have authority author authority you get it so instantly when people see that you're about to write a book they're like dang boy this is pretty cool i want to be a part of it and then here he basically gives them the promise without saying the promise so he'd just be like to see if i can make them an extra whatever amount in 30 days without them having to do much. Now you say the same thing. Now do you see with these words, you can actually pretty much sell anything that can actually get them these results. Specifically though, you're gonna be selling email copywriting because step number three, I'll show you exactly how to write the email using only AI. And then here you basically give them proof. Now look, if you don't really have proof right here, I don't know what to say to you, bro. But the only thing I could tell you is just like, be honest about what you're actually doing. Like if you've never gotten a client before, you can mention that and just tell the person that you'll just do them like a small amount of work for like $200 or something. And then if they like it, you can continue. It's just like a discovery, discovery work. But if you don't have a client, just keep watching because step number three, I'll show you exactly what to do, even if you have like, like zero clients. But this is what you would be sending people. This is exactly it. And you'll see like, like your response rate is actually high. I've tried this, the response rate is high. But anyway, so this is step number two. This DM, you gotta be sending it to at least 50 people a day. Now, step number three, let's just say you did get a client. How do you actually fulfill the work? So let me show you. So this right here is what you're gonna be doing when you actually write the email and you're gonna basically be using ChatGPT, which is AI. So look, you're basically gonna be creating a prompt. You're actually gonna be building a prompt. 
Now listen, the better the prompt that you give ChatGPT, the better the results is going to give you. So you want to think of ChatGPT as like a like a 10-year-old copywriter who's never written copy in, a, in their life. So you want to actually guide them exactly on how to write the copy. Now this right here, I actually stole it from a guy who's made pretty good money in copywriting. But if you look right here, basically he tells you the beginning of the prompt, you want to write something like this. And then in the middle of the prompt, you say something like this. And then the end of the prompt, you say something like this. And then basically put the product template right here. Let me show you how it actually looks like because I actually did it with you live. So look, this is what we mean. So you see right here, I was like, act as a copywriter and write an email about the product below. So this first sentence right here, basically I got it from here. So act as a person, whoever that person is. It could be like the founder, like the owner, like someone who's actually been through the company and they got results or something. So I specifically said a copywriter and blah, blah, blah. Like write an email, write a blog, write like a sales, just anything. So I'm just like writing an email about the product below and the product below is right here. I'll tell you exactly about it. And then I was like, reveal the product only 60% in the email. And where did I get that from? Well, I got it from here, bro. Reveal the product only 60% in the email. So basically like you're building prompts. It's just like copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. That's all it is. And then I was like, start the email by writing three frustrating real life scenarios. An adult who suffers from razor cuts, painful waxing, and expensive lasers my experience. And then if you go down, it's basically right here, right? Three surprising things or like, right? Three uncomfortable truths. You can pretty much like play around with it. But by the way, so what I'm actually doing right here is I pretended, so I pretended like this exact company right here, Bleem, who are making like at least $10,000 in revenue per day. I pretended like I'm actually a, a copywriter for them. It's almost like they hired me and I'm gonna be writing emails for them and basically getting paid $2,000 per month from them. So I'm just like, okay, if I actually got hired by these people, I'll exactly, like, I'll just literally use all these prompts that I have right here. So specifically, I was like, start the email by writing three frustrating real life scenarios, an adult who suffers from razor cuts, painful waxing, and expensive lasers might experience. Where did I get that from, bro? Right here. Razor cuts, painful waxing, or expensive lasers. See how easy this is? And then we continue. Explain how shaving doesn't need to be a stressful thing. So I didn't fully get this from here. I just took it from my own brain. But I wanted to make the email where ChatGPT actually explains how shaving is just like, it's, it's so annoying, but it doesn't need to be stressful. And then this right here is where we start like the middle of the prompt, which means we forget about this stuff right here. And basically we're going to be using this stuff right here. So specifically, I was like at a fifth grade level, explain why a problem is happening and how it works. So specifically, I'm like, at a fifth grade level, explain why trips to the wax salon are never pleasant. Bro, where did I get that from? Again, remember I got hired by these guys, I pretended. So I just go down, I'm just like looking at all their stuff. And then I'm just like, not all trips to the wax salon ends with a pleasant experience because blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, okay, they're literally writing this stuff for me. So right here, I literally just took that. And then it was like, write three deeper pain points. People who experience this problem might experience in their everyday life. So where did I get that from, bro? From here. 95% said the appearance of their strawberry legs improved. I c These guys already did everything for me. I'm just basically building, literally building an email for them. And then here, then explain in detail at a fifth grade level how our product compares to other competitor products. Now, specifically, this wasn't actually here. Actually, no, it is here. Convincingly explain why this product is better than the whatever. But I, I just kind of said it in like a different, different format. But the reason why I said this it's just because I'm like, these people right here are actually comparing themselves to other brands. By the way, this is actually extremely easy. I hope you're paying attention, bro. Because like this exact work right here is the work that you will be doing for the client. And if you have no client, you still do this work by pretending that this is like your client. And then you use this work as like proof. And then make the email desirable, exciting, and relatable for adults with strawberry legs and razor cuts. So this is the problem that we're dealing with right here strawberry legs and razor cuts. And where did I get that from? I don't freaking know, somewhere from here. Now I'm just losing track, actually. You probably are too, but focus! And then right here, I'm like, fight any objections they might have, and then encourage the reader to order immediately with a reason why. And both of these, I actually just got it from here. Fight any objections they might have, encourage the reader to order immediately. So basically, this is like the prompt. And now, remember how we just literally said, write an email about the product below? Well, this is the product. So specifically, I just have to fill out all the stuff like the product name, product description, product benefit, how the product works, and then tone of voice, and then exactly the email length. I don't know why this got cut off, but like how many words is going to be? So this is exactly what I did. I'm like, the product name is Bleem, even though I said Blame, Bleem Crystal Hair Eraser, which bro, I just got it from here, man. 
It's got it from here. It's not that hard, bro. So easy. And then product description. So this, I actually just wrote it in my own words, just because I, I searched around this whole page. I couldn't find like a, the exact description. So I just used my own words. And then the product benefits. So if I literally copied this, like this entire sentence, literally from right here, just copy and paste. And then this right here is also copied and pasted, which is literally right here. And then how the product works. So this exact thing right here is actually copied and pasted once again. So if you go down, literally right here, how it works, copy this whole thing and paste it there. It's that easy. And then other comments, just like any other comments that you want to add. So I'm just like, it helps specifically with strawberry legs and exfoliation. And then, by the way, the more stuff that you give the prompt to a chat GPT, the more, like, the better the actual email is going to be. So the target audience, I'm like women who have razor cuts or strawberry legs and are tired of waxing, customer pain points ex exactly this. And then, like, what will life look like after the pain is resolved? They will have no strawberry legs, no razor cuts, no more visits, and a tone of voice friendly, and then the email length, make it just like maybe 200 words max. So basically, I took all of this and I pasted it in chat GPT. As you can see right here, haven't changed a single thing, just literally pasted the whole thing right here. And this is what chat GPT came up with. So it's basically like, hey, beautiful. Remember the last time you wore that cute skirt, <laughs> but those darn razor cuts ruin your vibe or that special date, blah, blah, blah. Shaving should, shaving should be a breeze, not a battle. Let's face it, all these things. And then it was like skipping that beach day because like you see how it, like it actually knows exactly what those people are actually struggling with. And then even though like I messed up the name of the bleem, I was like, it's called <laughs> blame. It's still new. But hold on, introducing bleem crystal hair eraser with blah, 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 all these things. And then how is this different? That's when it was actually comparing it to other products. And I like how it actually just used like a, used like a metaphor or is that like a simile? No, I think that's a metaphor. I don't even know. And then here, it's basically giving them, like, making them feel how it feels like after they actually buy the product. And then here, exactly, this is actually pretty good. This is exactly what I would say. First 100 orders get a surprise gift. Why wait? All that stuff. So ideally, though, what you want to do is just, like, take this email, copy it, paste it into, like, your Google Doc, and then just basically play around with it to make it better. Because basically, you're the copywriter who knows all the psychology things. You're just using ChatGPT to just write the stuff and then you yourself, you're going to go and fix it up. So this is what I mean right here. Like, bro, just imagine if this guy actually had access to ChatGPT and he was still alive. And bro, like $1 billion in revenue, this guy would have probably made way more. Because just imagine this saves so much time. Like this allows you to actually reach out to more clients because the only problem with copywriters is that the work, sometimes it takes a long time. But with this... You're just finishing the work in like freaking seconds, bro. So this is literally the beauty about it. Now in these DMs right here, if you don't have like a like an actual client that you've worked with, you can just literally mention, for example, Bleem, and just be like, I wrote this email for Bleem. And then attach the screenshot of the email because that shows that you've actually done work and it just shows like what your work actually looks like. So yeah, bro, these are literally like, and by the way, Bleem, if you're actually watching this, I mean, tell me if you like, tell me if you like this email. I actually think it's pretty good. Like if I was the owner of Bleem, or like the marketer or the email marketer of Bleem, I would actually send this email. I think it's actually pretty good. Bleem, if you're watching, you can send this. Tell me if it boosts your revenue or something. If it does, like, just give me a cut or something. It's up to you, bro. <laughs> but yes, bro, so this exact, like, Google Doc right here, I'll include it in the description so you guys have access to, like, all these prompts right here, and then you can use it. But this is the whole side hustle. Step number one, fix your IG. Make it look credible. You can record your face like this and add value to people. That's okay. But don't be just going and reaching out to people if your IG is not good. And by the way, forget about how many followers you have. The amount of followers you have is irrelevant. You could do this like even if you have only 200 followers, it's fine. But step number two, use these DMs right here and basically send at least 50 of them to people who you think might actually be like a good fit. Oh, and by the way, you know what? I just forgot. I just realized actually, I forgot to tell you, I'd show you how to actually find these people. Bro, look, Habibi, one way to actually find these people is if you go on this website right here, it's basically facebook.com slash ads slash library. And then basically do like all, and then do like all ads right here. And just like search up any keyword, like for example, hair removal. And then just basically look around. Like you see all these people right here, like all these people can actually become potential clients just because they've already, like they're already running ads and they, they know what copywriting is. Now specifically, actually, don't do don't do all. Basically, just do like the United States. So, for example, specifically, how I found Bleem is I'm just like crystal hair eraser, which is like a dropshipping product. And then basically, I went down, and then I'm just like, hold on a minute. 
I know these guys. This is basically Bleem. So Bleem is like a potential client that I can reach out to. So I'd literally go on IG, search up Bleem, and send this message to them. And even better, if I just literally go on like Google, and I would be like Bleem, and I would be like owner. And then this guy right here, Ilya Sokolov, I would try to go and find his email and just like send him an email or find his IG and then send him an IG. Or like a, like a DM, not an IG. But this is literally it. Like if you want to work with like physical product businesses, just literally type in the actual product name and then look for brands who are like actually running ads. So we already know like Bleem are actually running ads. And then just basically do the research. Go and find their IG, find the owner's IG, and then send them that DM. It's that easy, bro. But anyway, this is step number two. Step number three, use this Google Doc. And that's how you actually write all the emails. Now, again, the way you're writing the emails is you're just like building them up. That's all you're doing building up the prompt, sending it to ChatGBT, and then getting back whatever it gives you, and just customize that. And that is the email. Like Habibi, like that's literally it. Like back in the day, being an email copywriter was not actually this easy. Nowadays, it's like it's so easy because of AI. Like the hardest part is just getting the clients, but I just showed you how to do it. So I hope this video is actually helpful. If it is, bro, just let me know.